Today I'm going to talk about the Makita hedge trimmers that I have got to uh, finally demo, try out. And so today we're going to tell you about these things and uh, all these functions that this thing has. We'll go over the model number, uh, what all comes in the kit, price, uh, specs of this thing, what all this thing is capable of. I mean this thing is, is totally just crazy guys so stay tuned. All right guys, so I'm sure the lighting out here sucks, but uh, it's it's gonna be a hot one today. So I'm getting this done, knocked out of the way, and moving on here. So um, we're gonna go over the brushless Makita. We're gonna jump right into this. We ain't gonna do no fancy stuff. We're just gonna give you the specs, tell you about it, tell you about uh, some of the positions, some of the things this thing is capable of, and uh, let me know in the comments down below what you think about this because uh, I finally had the opportunity to demo this unit. This is not my unit. Um, I literally am just demoing this for the past week. So uh, this comes, this kit, you're going to get the 24 inch uh, hedge trimmers with two five amp hour batteries and a charger and uh, the price starts at 359 which uh, guys after all the trimming I did um, I still had almost a half a battery left on one five amp hour battery I never even used the uh, the other five amp and this one shows that I've still got half a battery left so uh, so very very uh, good battery life on these things you've got two safeties you've got a safety here so safety and then you've got a safety here as well so you can't move this unless this is going now you can push this down but your trimmer still ain't going to work unless both safeties are in so uh so yeah safeties then you can do whatever so let's talk about strokes per minute other competitors offer 2800 strokes per minute 3400 strokes per minute makita takes it a step further and offers three different speeds. They've got a low setting that is 2,000 strokes per minute. They've got a medium setting that's 3,600 strokes per minute. And then they've got the high setting that is 4,400 strokes per minute. Here we go, starting it low. So the next cool thing about this machine, take the battery out here, is uh, it's got five different positions you can use. So this really amazed me because when you're trimming long hedges or something like that, then it absolutely is going to come in handy. Uh, so you have this, which is right-handed or left-handed thumb. So you can press this down right here and you can adjust this. So here's Here's your first position, you got straight up and down. Your second position moves it to the left. Third position, all the way to the left. Fourth position, all the way over one to the right. And then your fifth position is all the way down. Now this really comes in handy when you're trimming them, them long hedges. You can really get in there. And what I like about it is, I don't know if you can notice this, but if I stick this straight up and down here, this handle, you notice at the bottom, <clears throat> see if y'all can see that, tilts inward. So it's not right up against the hedges when you're trimming your hedges. So you're down there, you're trimming your hedges, and this is away from the hedges. So you can still go down through there, see what you're doing, and your hand is away from the hedges, not rubbing against, against it or anything. And that's real nice when you're going down through there trimming them hedges. <clears throat> so uh, five different positions this thing has just been totally amazing it was awesome to use I have to say uh, now <clears throat> weight with the five amp hour battery on this looking at around nine and a half pounds um, when I weighed it I think I got 9.8 uh, nine pounds eight ounces without the battery it was eight pounds two ounces uh, that was with 
the guard and everything, which this guard is, is very light. But uh, nine and a half pounds with five amp hour battery, guys. Five amp hour battery, you get two of them, plus the charger. Honestly, can't go wrong with this thing. Uh, I absolutely loved using this thing just for the versatility and everything that this had. Now we're gonna go over another feature that I don't know of any other hedge trimmers having. Uh, if they do, let me know down below. But uh, this is the only one that I've personally seen or used that has had this feature. So uh, let's show you what this does. It's pretty awesome. All right guys, have you ever been trimming and all of a sudden your blades get stuck? All of a sudden your blades get stuck and uh, well, guess what? The only direction these things go is the direction that they're meant to go. Well, Makita has took it, taken it, shall I say, to a different level and they have offered on this and on uh, their trimmers as well, a reverse. So you press this button and you're going in forward and uh, you get stuck up, oh, press this button, pull it. And as you can tell, Let's see if we can see it here. So this is gonna be uh, forward. Okay, so we got forward. Now we press this button and it moves it backwards to where you can unstick it and then you can get back to work. Reverse and then pull the trigger again and you're back to work on forward. This is totally awesome because I cannot tell you how many times I have got the blade stuck in something and literally have to yank it out. Uh, and then I have bent a blade as well, uh, just a little bit, um, by doing that. Uh, I have hit a fence that was just shoved up in a bush somehow. And this reverse option would have been very, very handy to have on that or in that situation. So reverse guys, can, can't say enough about that. So we've talked about a lot of the features of this Makita, uh, and you've also got a tip guard as well down here. So uh, we're gonna pull the battery out. We're gonna show you something even better with this thing. So uh, let's get going. So you're working. Oh my goodness. Guess what? Oh, it starts raining. You've left these in the back of your truck. What are you gonna do? Well, Makita has come out with waterproof, water resistant, I'm not sure what exactly it is, technology. So uh, as you can tell, we are just watering the crap out of these batteries, or battery and uh, these hedge trimmers here. And so uh, guys, you have no worries with anything that's gonna happen because uh, check this out. We're literally just going to pick this up, shake it off, get some of the water out of it here. Do the same thing with the hedge trimmers. Give them a good shake. As you can tell, it's still all wet. Slide the battery in here, turn them on. I still got three speeds. And everything still works. So uh, even if I do leave them in the back of my truck, I'm still ready to work, which is a great, great feature that they have come out with on this. I'm not sure if anybody else has this feature. Honestly, couldn't tell you, but I know Makita does. So uh, yeah, crazy. Oh, another thing. These have an auto shut off feature. So once I turn these on and uh, they're on here, I'm just gonna sit here and talk to you. But uh, once I turn these on and I set them down, I'm raking my bush or whatever I'm doing out, after 60 seconds, one minute, then these automatically shut off. So uh, I don't know if, if you would consider that a good thing because it's gonna save your battery or 
a bad thing because uh, if you're if you're setting them down and trimming then it literally takes a second just to press that button and turn them back on but uh, for the first couple of times it annoyed me because I was kind of confused on why it shut off and then I got to reading up on them and once again after 60 seconds one minute of uh, these not being used or doing anything then they automatically shut off on their own there you go let's get back to it all right guys that's going to do it for this video comment down below let me know what you think of the makita these are the 24 inch i will put a uh once again i will put a uh, model number right down here somewhere and uh I absolutely love these things. Now you can also get these in a 30 inch. Uh, now I was told that the 24 inch with two five amp hour batteries and a charger start at $359.99 and then you can get the 30 inch for 20 to $30 more than that. I believe they quoted me uh, $379.99 is where the 30 inch started with, uh, with the kit. So thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know what you think of these. If you got any questions. And uh, we'll see you soon.